Hi, welcome to interview.com. Interview.com is a job portal. If you're looking for a job, you can log on to interview.com and you can post your resume. In this video, I'm going to give you 75 code Java interview questions. If you are fresher or less than three years of experience, you can prepare answer for these questions. I'm just giving an idea so that you can start preparing answer for these questions. These are all very, very important Java interview questions. The first question, can Java thread object invoke start method twice you can't do that because if you if you start the thread second time it will throw illegal thread state exception give the list of java object class methods you have wait notify and other methods in java object class can we call a servlet destroy from service we can call but it will not it service purpose fourth question can we override a static method no, we can't override a static method because static method belong to the class whereas the overriding principle apply to the object. Okay, The instance methods, it applies to the instance method which are at the object level. So static method are at the class level, instance method are at the object level. Can you list serialization interface, me interface methods? Serialization uh, does not have any interface method. It's just a marker interface. You just informing this object will be serialized. That means this object will be converted into byte of stream, stream of bytes, and it will be sent through wire, or you can store in a flat file. What is the difference between super class, super, super, and this? Super is calling the constructor. Or the super class. This is calling the the current class. How to prevent a method from being overridden you can mark the method as final can we create abstract classes without any abstract methods yes you can create that explain private protected public very important interview question can we have static methods in the interface no only public and abstracts are available in in interfaces what is transient variable transient variable comes in the picture whenever you do serialization that means if you want to skip any variable that you in the process from the process of serialization you can mark that variable as a transient that means it will not be involved in the process of serialization in case there is a return at the end of the try block will execute finally block yes because finally block always dominates the return statement and exception statement so finally block always ex executed in only one condition system dot exit it will not execute what is abstract class or abstract method? What is the default value of boolean? Link list and array list. Link list is for whenever you want to insert or delete, you can use that. Array list is for iteration. If you want to traverse or iterate it, you can use array list. Daemon thread is a low priority thread which runs in the background. For example, garbage collection. It's a daemon thread which runs background to collect the unreachable objects. So it's a low priority thread. Each does each thread in, in Java use separate stack? Yes, each thread has its own stack. What's the difference between enumeration and iterator? Does system.exit in try block executes finally block? No. The system.exit actually shutdowns the uh, JVM, so finally block will not be executed. What is fail fast in Java? What is finally final and finalized? Finally, me Final means if you mark a class, you can't extend the class. If you mark a method, you can't override that method. If you mark a variable, you can't reinitialize that variable. Finally, as you know, try catch finally. Finally, block will be executed for cleaning up your resources. Finalized method is whenever garbage collection is going to collect an object, it will give an opportunity to do something. It will call this finalized method. You can do whatever you want before it is garbage collected. In Java, true or false or keywords. What is the purpose of garbage collection? What are the different types of result set? What is the difference between wait and sleep? Wait and sleep. Wait. You can give some uh, wait method. It is used in thread. It will not hold the lock. Whereas sleep, it will hold the lock. And if you say five seconds, you have to sleep. It will hold the lock and it will sleep. What is servlet context? What happens if one of the one of the members in class does not implement serializable interface? What is race condition? 
what is strict FTP, FTP, uh, FP keyword what is system dot out in Java what is the difference between servlet output stream and print writer what is static Java static import you can you don't have to mention the class name once you mention the static import at the top in the top of the our class okay so you can directly use the variables if you use the static import when to use string and string buffer what is the difference between string buffer and string builder uh, when you have uh, when you want to append or concatenate more uh, strings you should use string, string buffer because string is immutable and there are a lot of objects unreachable objects might be in the JVM memory what is wrapper class Java allows only primitive types to uh, to ho convert that primitive types to objects wrapper class used in Java is iterator a class what is Java class path Java class path is used for used by the class loader to find out the dependent classes to load into the JVM that's where the class path comes into picture so class loader will search the corresponding class from the class path can a class in Java be marked as private no only public and default is allowed in in Java is null a keyword in Java what is the initial state of, uh, of a thread null is not a keyword what is the initial state of a thread and when it is started it will be runnable what is the super class of exception and error it is throwable what is class for name it this co this this uh, code is used in reflection concept can interface be final what is the difference between exception and error exception is you can if you if you can recover from a problem then it is exception if you cannot recover from a problem then happen in the clip uh, application that is error what is default value of a local variable what is local class in java can we initialize uninitialized initialize final variables can we declare abstract methods can we have finally block without catch block yes it's possible what is pass by value and pass by reference very important java entry equation can we declare a main method as private no even if you do it it will give you an error okay serialized static fields so this is the last page where we can where we where can we use serialization if you want to convert your object into stream bytes then you can use serialization static synchronized and synchronized methods static synchronizer is like um, synchronization applied at the static methods okay and uh, the lock is uh, obtained at the class level synchronizing uh, the instance the object the lock is obtained at the object level please uh, com concentrate more on the 61 question is very important what is the uh, what is the order of catch blocks when catching more than one exception it should the parent should be at the end and the child should be at the top otherwise it will give a compiler what is hash code hash table hash map how to create and start a thread in java explain volatile keyword in java this is used in thread concept just to um, have a common variable between threads a shared variable among threads when to make a constructor private and why singleton pattern singleton design pattern we can use uh, private so that the any any outside class we are not allowing to create object of that particular class that's where the private constructor comes into picture hope these 75 core java entry questions are really helpful for your java entry preparation thank you and all the best for your interview thank you